Hi, how's it going everyone? Welcome to the first video of my databases in Docker series. In today's video, I'll be taking you through setting up a MSSQL server on an M1 machine using Docker Compose. I'll be using the Azure SQL Edge image for this tutorial. Another option you have is the Microsoft SQL Server Ubuntu based images. The latter did not work on my M1 machine. Another thing to take note of is that databases created in Azure SQL Edge cannot be restored on a Microsoft SQL Server or Azure SQL instance, but databases created on Microsoft SQL Server or Azure SQL can be restored on Azure SQL Edge. So you should be able to restore SQL Server or Azure SQL databases after running the Azure SQL Edge instance. So let's start off by setting up a docker compose.yaml file with the following script. Next. Open up your terminal and cd into the directory where your docker compose.yaml file is located and run the following command to pull the image and run the container. The next step is to download Azure Data Studio and connect to the server using the following credentials. Our server will be localhost, username SA, and then the password will be the one that we set in the Docker Compose file. After successfully connecting to the server, you should see about four databases, which should be the master, model, msdb, and tempdb. Next, let's try and restore a database. Before restoring a database, you may need to enable preview features in Azure Data Studio. To do that, click on the gear icon in the bottom left corner and click on settings. Type in the following text in the search bar and click enable. Download one of the sample databases from Microsoft and restore it on your server. I was able to restore the AdventureWorks DW2019.bark file and the AdventureWorks2019.bark file. Once you've downloaded the sample database or databases, copy it into your container directory using the following command. MSQL underscore MSSQL underscore one in the above command is the name of my container. Replace that with your container name. Next, to restore the database, click on the Restore button in Azure Data Studio. In the Restore source, select Backup File. The backup file path will be the container directory to which we copied the database file. After restoring the database, you should be able to see it in your list of databases and run queries. That's it for this video. Stay tuned for the next tutorial. Be sure to like or subscribe if you enjoyed the video and would like to see more content like this in your feed. Until next time. Cheers.